10 Common English Expressions with Can't from EspressoEnglish.net. Number 1. Can't Carry a Tune Jeff wants to sing in the church choir, but he can't carry a tune. Someone who can't carry a tune has no musical ability. They can't sing a simple melody correctly. Number 2. Can't Be Bothered I can't be bothered to keep up with the latest TV shows. TV is a waste of time anyway. If you can't be bothered to do something, it means you have no time or interest to do it. It is not important enough for your attention. Number 3. Can't tell I can't tell the difference between these two types of rice. The expression can't tell means can't perceive or observe. It doesn't mean you can't talk about something. We often use it in the phrases, can't tell the difference between two similar things, or can't tell if or can't tell whether something is the case or not. For example, I can't tell if he's serious or not. Number 4. Can't get enough of I can't get enough of these cookies. They're delicious. If you can't get enough of something, it means you want more and more of it. Number 5. Can't wait My kids can't wait to go to Disney World this summer. The expression can't wait means you are very eager and excited for something to happen in the future. Number 6. Can't stand I can't stand it when people are late for appointments. It's so inconsiderate. If you can't stand something, it means it really annoys or irritates you. You strongly dislike it. We often use it in these two ways, can't stand plus a noun. For example, I can't stand the smell of onions, or can't stand it when plus the situation. For example, I can't stand it when my kids come into the house with muddy shoes. Number 7. Can't bear I can't bear to live so far away from my family. If you can't bear something, it means it makes you extremely sad. It is difficult for you to endure. We often use it in these ways. Can't bear to watch. For example, the death scene is horrible. I can't bear to watch it. Can't bear the thought of. For example, he's so focused on success, he can't bear the thought of failing. Number 8. Can't help. I know I shouldn't feel guilty since it wasn't my fault, but I can't help it. I can't help it means that you are unable to stop or prevent yourself from doing something or feeling a certain way. You can also say, I can't help, plus a verb in the ing form. For example, I can't help feeling guilty even though it wasn't my fault. Number 9 can't beat or can't top. For example, I spent my vacation relaxing on the beach and eating delicious food. You can't beat that. The expressions you can't beat that and you can't top that mean the situation is the best. It can't be any better.
The you is impersonal. It is talking about the situation in general, not talking to a specific person. Sometimes we say it without the you. Can't beat that and can't top that. Number 10. Can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough for all your help. This expression expresses very deep and sincere gratitude. It is usually used when you are thanking the person for something they did that was very significant or very meaningful to you. To learn more everyday English phrases and expressions, take the Everyday English Speaking course at EspressoEnglish.net. This course teaches you practical spoken English for daily life, as well as social English and functional English in many different situations. Visit EspressoEnglish.net to take the Everyday English Speaking course.